Week of the Combine is officially here, and we just got word that Marvin Harrison Jr. will not be there? Is this a bad look for Marvin Harrison Jr., or is he trying to stay away from any of the top teams? Let's get started. What's going on everybody? Welcome back into another video. Definitely do me a huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe. Subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. We are on the road to... 14k but not just that ladies and gentlemen this is going to be the the opportunity for a lot of news a lot of news to come from the cardinals because we got free agency we have the combine this week and then we got the draft in the end of april so all right everybody let's go and get started here let's talk about marvin harrison jr shall we now we ended up getting a report earlier this morning saying that marvin harrison jr will not be showing up to the 2024 NFL Combine, and of course, we got some people out here saying this is a bad look for Marvin Harrison Jr., but we're going to be diving into that a little later on. Let's dive into the report here from Albert Breer, and this is exactly what it says. Ohio State Supernova Marvin Harrison Jr. isn't just skipping drills in Indy. He's not at the Combine training facility at all. Instead, staying at Ohio State University and building towards his rookie season. Now, kind of a, a big news out here, right? Now, for some people, Maybe not big news, but for some other people out there, this is an opportunity for them to see Marvin Harrison Jr. And he's not going to be there, right? Especially with those those people that are picking in the top five. This is going to be a bona fide number one wide receiver in the NFL, or at least he's projected to be, right? Generational talent is getting thrown out there again with Marvin Harrison Jr. And he's not going to be showing up for this year's NFL Combine. Now, do I have a problem with him not showing up? To be honest with you, not really. Uh, I, I really don't care. Now, there's a reason why the Combine is listed as the Underwear Olympics, right? They do things on here that they can easily be done at Ohio State, right? And that's exactly where he played college, right? They could do exactly the same things in the combine that they can do in Ohio State. So I don't really have a problem with it, me personally. Um, all they're going to do is obviously do some drills. Uh, they're going to look at his measurables. They can do that at Ohio State. So like I said, I'm not really mad at it. Um, it's not one of those situations where I'm like, oh, this is going to completely break down his character. This really kind of shows who he is. No, honestly, I think the tape speaks for itself. I, I truly think that Marvin Harrison Jr. knows exactly that he is going to be picked up somewhere in the top five. There's nothing that he needs to prove to anybody at all. He doesn't need to prove to anybody. This is a generational talented wide receiver that is going to be a number one wide receiver as long as he can Stay healthy in the NFL and I think he knows that and honestly in the grand scheme of things here I'm not mad at it I, I think this is definitely something that the Cardinals should keep their eyes on now this is the way I like to look at it now please keep in mind this is under the basis and the absolute biasness of a Cardinal fan there's some people out there that are worried about Marvin Harrison Jr. going to the Patriots, right? And the Patriots swiping him away, doing a real quick snipe at the third overall spot just before the Arizona Cardinals pick at the number fourth overall spot. This is the way I like to look at it here, right? I think this helps out the Cardinals. I truly think that this helps out the Cardinals, being the fact that there is a level of maybe a crack, a crack and a person and who he is, right? If, if anything can be, you know, swayed for the Patriots to not get him, I'm on board. I'm absolutely on board. Now, to me, Chicago, I, I think they're as good as drafting Caleb Williams. And I truly think that they should still draft Caleb Williams. And then number two, the Washington Commanders, they're going quarterback, right? Whether that's going to be Drake May or Daniels, I don't care. That's their decision. But right now, with what the Patriots are standing at right now, they have an opportunity to literally snipe away a wide receiver that most Cardinal fans want, and that is Marvin Harrison Jr. So him not showing up to the NFL Combine, I don't care. I, I truly don't, I don't care. I think this actually helps us. And like I said earlier, Anything that they can do in the combine, they can do in Ohio State. And he's actually going to do that. He's going to be doing drills. He's going to be doing a work day. He's going to do measurements. He's going to do all that here in Ohio State. There's no there's no point of him traveling to Indianapolis for him to get his measurables done. Just the only other thing I would point out here is that Monty Austin Fort really, really made it seem very, very clear that he was excited about meeting with a lot of these players um, in the NFL combine. And being that he won't be there, it's definitely going to be... 
miss out an opportunity for the Cardinals to meet with him. Now, I think that obviously if the Cardinals want to meet with him, they're going to make it happen, right? They're, they're probably not going to be like, oh, it's, it's it's combine or bust, right? They're, they're going to meet with, with Marvin Harrison Jr. if they truly wanted to. But, but that also means that the Patriots won't be able to meet with uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. So that, now that is the only instance where I'm like, hmm, yeah, that sucks that we're not going to be able to meet with them here in the combine during the interviews. But like I said earlier, if they want to meet with them, they're definitely going to meet with them. And another thing I forgot to mention here, why risk injury flying to the combine and doing the drills the way that they want you to do them right you're going to be able to do exactly the same thing here in Ohio State don't risk injury be where you're most comfortable and obviously stay healthy so honestly this is a good sign here for Cardinals fans because this makes me feel like he does not want to go to the Patriots I'm just kidding right there's nothing out there saying that he doesn't want to go to the Patriots but in the grand scheme of things this only helps out the Cardinals because it just makes me more excited that he's going to be available there at the fourth overall the, the Patriots need to go quarterback. They should go quarterback, at least in my eyes. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts here on Marvin Harrison Jr. skipping out in the 2024 NFL Combine? Do you think this hurts his draft stock? Do you think it doesn't hurt his draft stock? Let me know here in the chat. Let me know here in the chat below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and go Cards.